can introduce myself now. My name is John. That guy over there? Yeah. That's my brother. Rose is a lady's best friend. Really, really love this guy. Every woman has a price. Figure out what the price is. Pay up. And she's all yours. Simple as that. Buy price. Pay it. And she's all mine. <laughs> ah, that's what I have to do. And now tell me, how much is your bride price? <laughs> Let you some minutes ago. And now you're here. Like what is wrong with you guys? What? What do you want? Okay, Eva, I'll, I'll just go right into it. I care about you. I'm a woman of my dreams and I want to be... Hey, if Mohammed no go mountain, mountain comes to fame. You know my type. She said I'm not a type. Who said you're not a type? The lover boy. How are you? Good to see you. Uh -huh. How may I help you? <coughs> Look at yourself. I insist. You help me. You don't need any revenge. It's not the end of the world. I try stepping back. The guy, the thing is, man, girls like that. Those, those are my kind of girls. Yes, I learned you want to see me. Yes, sir. What for exactly? I want to be under arrest, sir. Arrest? What for? For murder. Murder? Family is everything, you know. Yes, a lot of people think otherwise, especially when the woman is a housewife. But I'm not the kind that worries about what people say or think. I love my family, and they are the reason I live. You have no idea what joy comes with taking care of your family. For me, it's more fulfilling than every other job you can think about.
so sorry. I just got carried away with my family. That I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Gina. And this is my family, my husband, Jeff, and of course, my beautiful daughter, Mona Lisa. They rock my world. And for them, I will do anything to see these smiles on their faces. Are you getting bored? Please don't. This is me every day. I am destined to take care of my own and make sure they have everything they need to make them comfortable and happy. In all of this, my life is truly interesting. You know why? Because I have met 10 unhappy women in my lifetime. And I'm 8 of them. Are you confused? Don't be. This has been my life for the past eight years. Jeff is my husband, no doubt, but I can't stand him. We are married and I have to get along, right? So I have to build a wall of my own. A place where I can be comfortable and be in love with a man of my own dream and expectation. Call me whatever. But I know you understand me. Or maybe you are like me. <laughs> Can't believe this. So, babe, as in you've decided, as in like you've made up your mind to become full time housewife. Not again. I have told you that working is not part of my agenda. Yes, I need to take care of my family, my husband, my daughter. Please, I don't want to work. Okay. Need I remind you that men these days don't like liability women. Most especially the career women are everywhere. But you know, it's not like if I... See, the working world is so interesting. So why don't you just... Get a maid to help you out. Take care of your family or your home. I, I don't know. You didn't just say that. I don't need a maid. I can do it myself. Help me. 
Why do I need to work when my husband pays me more than enough for sitting down at home and doing nothing? Please, if you're talking about job satisfaction, <laughs> I think I have more than enough. <laughs> you know you're something else. In fact, you are unbelievable. My sister, I'm just doing what makes my family happy. That's all, oh. I rest my case, you won't. <laughs> so how is Rob? Tell me, what has been happening to you? As you can see for yourself. What for exactly? Stop it! Stop this nonsense right now! What is wrong with you? Don't you know there's time for everything? I don't want this nonsense this time. Please! It irritates me! Ew! Arrest? What for? For breakfast? Uh, anything light, uh, anything light for breakfast. And for lunch, um, say more and um, just take a soup. Uses me. Angel, you're still sleeping. Wakey, wakey. Please, a little more. Wake up. You need to go to school. Be quick. I can see your eyes are still working. What do you want? I sent you the proposal for the project. You could have just called to tell me that. You didn't have to come here. Yeah. I, um, I just wanted to clear up something with you. Thank you. 
Kesta, <laughs> how you doing, bro? Oh, I'm good, bro. <laughs> so how was Nigeria? How's work? Very well, very well. We're grateful. I thought you would be in the country by now. I got your email to that effect. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be in the country in the next um, three days. Oh, okay, good. We're respecting you. It would be nice to have you here. But Kesta, having said that, I read your email and you mentioned that you'll be relocating. And I'm thinking, is it a great time to do that right now? <laughs> I know you say that, but not to worry. When I come around, I'm sure you understand why it's necessary. Okay, if you say so. Yeah. And speaking of accommodation, Kester, um, I remember we talked about it. I have made up my mind that you'll be staying with me. Really? I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Kester, l let me talk, all right? It does not make sense at all that I live in a very big house and then you come to this country and you're staying in a hotel. I do not agree, all right? My family and I... We'll be very happy to have you around. Are you ever going to change? Really? <laughs> Look, you will never change, would you? What are you talking about? Look, I, I just don't want to inconvenience you, that's it. Kesta, you're not inconveniencing me. You're my brother. Okay? You're like a brother to me. So let me do what I have to do. All right, big brother, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right, cheers, bro. All right, cheers. Sweetheart, do you remember my friend, the one I spoke to you about who stays in London? The one that you said he has not visited Nigeria since he left now until he makes some money before he returns. Get that. Oh. <laughs> he called me today. He told me that he's finalized plans on returning to Nigeria. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's nice. He told me he'll email me his um, flight details within the week, so we should expect him. Oh, okay. Daddy. Yes, love. Did you tell him to buy me a big teddy? Okay. <laughs> I'm sure he should get you something. You know why? Because he's going to be staying here with us until he finds a place to stay. Okay, so I'm sure he'll get you something. Wow. Daddy, <laughs> someone from America. And I get to ask him plenty questions. Yes. <laughs> and you know why? No, my angel, tell me. Because I knew one day Dad will take me to London to spend my holiday. Spot on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I show you. <laughs> well, you see, Dad said I'm right. Okay. It's your food. <laughs> it's fine. So when he's here, that is, that's let's make him as comfortable as he can. He was always good to me. Okay, I'm Hi, um, my name is Kesta, Jeff's friend from London. And you must be his wife, Gina, right? Yes. It's happening. Just like you, I am surprised. I created him, but how could I have created someone who already exists? to see her and your daughter.
this is not possible. How can that happen? It should only happen in my head, not in real life. No, it's not possible. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How may I help you? I saw the notice, ma, so I came to apply. Ah, uh, uh, excuse me, sir. I don't know. Is there a problem? Because did you read it properly? Yes, ma, I did. You did? Uh, why are you calling me, ma? Am I older than you? Something that wrote houseboy, you came to apply. Are you trying to upset me? Housekeeper! Ah! Do you need a strong hand in this house? Johnny, stand there. Hold it until it gets a bit hot. Ah, ah. Johnny! Ah! You have to lose my voice before you answer me. Sorry, mother. Please come and put my leg on the table. I said you should put my leg on the table. Don't touch me, John. Go and wash your hands. Did you wash I your hands? I hope you know it's not ordinary beans I'm asking for. I told you to roast it. On the contrary, I think I'd rather you just fry it. Oh, my it's really been okay. <laughs> what are you cooking? Um, turkey stew. Oh, sounds international. <laughs> what do you mean? Something wrong with me? No. So what's the question for? Fried beans. You you don't know how to make fried beans. Have you heard of fried rice? Yes. So that means you can make fried beans now. To break like a human being, not to break pretty like a goat. Oh, for big! Baby, I, I can't be like this. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't they taken everything from me? Is it not enough that I'm suffering already? <laughs> oh, okay, he can drive, but he doesn't have a license. Well, excuse me, I need to ask you, what, 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 what exactly do you have as a man? What, what, what do you have? Apart from the pride on your shoulder and the stubbornness you are wearing on your head like Oshuka, what do you have? Eh? I never knew it would be possible. Hey. Is everything okay? Come with me. I want to 
issues. It's Jeff, okay? No one has ever used it before. Um, that's okay. That's that's fine. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you like me a lot. I do. If you want to. 